Bienvenue, Hanali. Welcome, Hanali. Welcome after your exhibition. Could you please tell us a little bit more about your exhibition that just happened in Paris? Bonjour, Henri. Bonjour. Yes, it was an awesome experience. Um, it was one of the best experiences I have ever had. Mind blowing. Um, thank you to the gallery which had accepted my work. And a Welcome. big, big thank you for all the exposure that was given to me. Um, everything was just superb. Highly recommended to every single artist that ever has this opportunity. I don't think I have enough words that can really explain my experience. It was absolutely awesome. Yes, could you tell us more about the exhibition? Uh, how did it come to happen? How did it all happen? How did it just came came about that you ended up here in Paris? Yes, um, I had a friend um, that I had done some work for. And he introduced me to the gallery and they saw my work and invited me to do the exhibition. Fantastic. And it was almost nine months later and here I am. Yes, could you tell us a little bit more about your work that you've done actually? Because there were five pieces apparently. It was uh, the one that was called Eyes on Windows, the Windows to Your Soul. Yes, the whole series was um, called Pieces of Tuscany. Um, I think the inspiration for the whole series was a personal problem that I faced and I painted some two doors some time ago, which was basically the birth of the series. This whole series, yes, of course. Um, I'm sure the people can watch it on Facebook. Uh, you have a Facebook account? Yes, I do. See, yes, I have a Facebook account and it's, everything's on there. The Perfect. Pictures so, of what they look like, um, etc. Because so they could go and search yeah, there it's for just, Hanley for you. And, it's yes. just a bit overwhelming now to have all these small things with of me. Of course. So yes, they... Because there were five, see. it was behind uh, uh, your eyes and windows to the soul, yeah. behind closed doors, uh -huh. soul searching choices, and awakened peace. Yes, correct. Like Could you describe five. in short, quickly, the five to us? Yes, I would um, say the first one behind your honor. Oh, sorry, the first one is eyes are the windows to your soul. Yes. yes, that is a phrase used very freely and openly, and as normally used by somebody that can see yes. some form of an emotion in your eyes. Whether it's anger, happiness, emotion, any yes. emotion. So that was the starting point of, of the whole journey. Thereafter, um, was behind, was closed, behind doors, closed, yes. closed doors. Now, anything that happens <clears throat> behind a closed door is normally something that happens in secret. So, yes, there was um, a personal decision that I had to make, which was very close to heart, and obviously the detail of... Of the true meaning of the painting can also be um, viewed on my on my Facebook account. Um, it's just going to get so lengthy if I have to go yes. through all the explanations <laughs> now. Then the third one in the series is soul searching. I suppose, yeah, it, all it means is that the soul is always yearning for you to wake up. As I would say, wake up and smell the roses. Yes, of course. <laughs> is, yeah, but wake up and free yourself from from all the shoulds. It would, it will yes. use any vehicle at its disposal to help you find the truth about who you are, and what mm. is aligned with your true self. Mm. So yeah, that was what of soul course. searching was all about. And it was choices. Your choices is then, once you've done this whole soul searching, obviously you stand in front of a door and you need to decide where to, what, where to, what now. Mm. And um, I suppose when somebody you love says goodbye, mm. you can either stay long and hard at the door mm. and then you can forget to see all the other doors um, that mm. God has in front of you. And... That is where choices come from. Of course. Then the last one in the series is Awakened Awakened Peace. Very true to its name. That is once you've once you've walked this whole day, this whole road. Um, yes. The end of the journey ends in peace. 
because um, the the whole painting, the whole feel of Awakened Peace is feeling the oneness with the Creator, which helps you to calm your heart and soul. Um, allowing life challenges mm -hmm. to refine your purpose. And we must never forget that we come from an almighty source and we are all here to love and support one another. And if everything in your, ha in your life happens, um, which you are not able to deal with or you decide to just walk away from it, mm. by having that inner peace, you can just say, let go, let God. Fantastic. This all, every painting that you did had like a piece of poetry with it. Yes. Yeah, very poetic. Um, a deeper meaning it's to just a nice to find picture. that in a series yes. that followed each other so closely. Yes, and I think that is what made the series unique. And that is why um, the invitation was extended to me because of the... Uh, the uniqueness, of the, the uniqueness of, of the true meaning of it and how how it was observed from an artistic point of view. It wasn't merely just words, um, yeah, it merely just, just paintings. A few was, paintings here and there. Yeah. It was really, they followed an order, uh, nearly a life order. Correct, I yeah. Say. Yeah, or a journey. A journey. Yeah. Which is great. How did you, how did you manage to do this all in the time frame that you had because you had very little time. Yes. <laughs> Everything, <laughs> your whole life happened so quickly while yeah. you did all of this. Correct, yes. I think from the time that I finally had the, the invitation from, from the uh, gallery mm. to the day that I delivered my last painting was five months. Yes. And um, but it happened. It it all just happened so fast, and it just fell into one another. Wonderful. Everything, yeah, everything. Now, how do you feel after place. you saw that? What was awesome. your reaction from the the French people and the, the viewers, and of course the other? The French people were very very kind. Um, they have they they they've welcomed me with a with a lot of openness and very eager for me to have been here. I really felt so at home. Um, I cannot wait to come back. <laughs> I believe that there is a second exhibition yes, maybe planned yes. in the pipeline. Is correct. That correct. Yes, we are in negotiations, and um, not just one, but there may be two exhibitions as quick as May, June next year. Wow. Yes, so and something to look forward to. Interesting. And the material, where do you find the, your material from? And is it mostly your life experiences or? Um, is it, that's difficult because it's this was the first one to that extent where I have used a personal experience to do a whole series. Okay. So yes, um, I think now that you're on the level of peace, it would most likely be freedom, freedom, something in that lines. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna reveal, reveal too it, much at this stage. Reveal it all for the next series. <laughs> but I am going to experience with some uh, with different forms of media. Um, yes. At the moment, I'm only using acrylics, and it's the true Tuscan palette with the oranges and the browns and of the greens. Course. But um, I think it's time to do something vibrant, something different. Um, you don't also want to be labelled as an artist that can only just do one one set regime of painting. So we'll see what the uh, gallery brings up in the new year. Okay, as we can see here behind us, uh, where gallery uh, only has exhibited. Gallery two, which was introspection, as everybody could see there, which was a very interesting painting. Would you like to talk about that, maybe a little bit? Yes. Why did you choose the hills and the buildings? And very interesting piece to see. Introspection is also very close to heart. Um, you can see from all the different buildings, all of them being different colors. You go soul searching because you're trying to find yourself. Yes. And you wander down this path and you don't know what's around the next corner. And you finally see some light at the end of the tunnel, which is obviously the mountains in the back. And that then straight, or it lead, leads you straight into the awakened peace. Wonderful. 
as we can see here, how many have you seen here behind there mm -hmm. with where you are? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Congratulations. We are Thank very, you. very, very proud of the South African mm -hmm. artist that was here exhibiting in Paris, of course. And uh, for the future, we just really wish for you to go from strength to strength. And we hope to see your name more in the international art market, of course, and abroad. And we wish you all success with your art in the future and hope to see you back very soon. Merci.